Hello everybody, my name is Vince and today it is tutorial time. I'm going to be showing you how to do a basic 16 player setup for Mario Kart Double Dash. To start off, uh, we're going to need two computers, both of them having a graphics card about as powerful as an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 1050, which is what both of my computers roughly use. You're also going to need Dolphin for both of your computers, and about four instances for each computer. The next thing you need isn't necessary, but it is super useful to have. It is a basic Ethernet cable connecting both of your desktops. And finally, for each computer, we are going to be downloading, getting a username, and using the LAN service known as Xlink Kai. Now, I know there are probably better broadband adapter services out there, but this one has been pretty reliable for me and just gets me the best results in general. So that is what we're going to be using. And with that said, let's start. So first, we're going to be setting up our Xlink Kai account. So type in Xlink space Kai. Though it probably doesn't matter if you use the space or not, it should be the first result anyway. Alright, it should take us to this site, and then we're going to want to go to the download. Make sure you choose the right operating system. I'm personally using Windows. And then you'll just want to open up the file as soon as you get it. You do some basic agreeing to the license terms and conditions, and then you can hit install. And the whole process should take just a couple of minutes. It'll also ask you to install something called WinPCAP. And you just want to press Next, and I agree. And then just hit Install. And then should just be a little bit longer. Alright, setup is good, install is complete. And now it is time to make our account. From the top, you make your username, post your email address, write and confirm your password, choose your country, which if you live in the States, you can narrow down to your individual state, and then you choose your age range. Unfortunately, they don't go 30 plus. You're going to have to go into your email to verify your account. All you got to do is click the green button, and then you should be good from here. There's just one last thing we got to do on our profile before we can really set things up. So go to your menu and type or search for Configure X Link Kai. You're going to get a warning notification every time you boot it up, so press yes to bear with me. What you're going to do is check Allow Remote UI Connections and Allow Remote DDS Connections. This will help out for our dolphin. So now we can search for Start X Link Kai on the menu. Press yes to bear with me yet again. And now we're on the orbital. All you gotta do is log in, spell your name correctly, <laughs> and type your password and you're in. Now that we got all that done, we can do the same thing, make a second account for our other computer, which I have already done. And now we can start linking up to each other. Now before we can even connect with Dolphin, we're going to have to do a couple of things on the program. So first, find config, and on the GameCube tab, look for SP1 under device settings. On the SP1 drop-down menu, switch it from nothing to broadband adapter tap. What we do from here is assign ourselves a MAC address. This gives our GameCube a unique identity. Generally, the MAC addresses start off with 00,09,BF, colon. The last six digits of your MAC address can be any significant figure used in hexadecimal notation. So that means any number from 0 to 9, and any letter A through F. Alternatively, you can also edit your MAC address by finding your dolphin.ini file and typing it out from there. Be sure to make a unique MAC address for every instance of Dolphin that you're running for a session. Otherwise, they won't just not connect, but it will absolutely disconnect your previous instance. With that said, we go back to the SP1 drop-down menu and go to Broadband Adapter X-Link Kai. Now, we can start doing some experiments. Okay, so from here, we're going to be doing some live tests. We're going to go to our configs. And uh, before we start off, we're going to go to our taps for both. Make sure we got unique MAC addresses. 
zero 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 two zero 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 three. So both of those look good. I'm gonna go to Xlink Kai for both of them as well. And uh, it will default us to 127.0.0.1. Likewise with this one, except this time I typed it in. Doesn't really matter. It'll it'll default to it'll default to uh, the client. So that looks good on both. And so now we're gonna go hit Mario Kart Double Dash for both. And you can see this one's connected. See, right there, right there. Nintendo! One of them's going to be louder than the other. I'm going to try and... Uh, there we go. Okay. So we'll press A for both. And you can see they're both connected. They got their unique MAC addresses. And then we're gonna go both to land mode. Now this takes a little bit of time. It'll take about five, ten seconds to establish that there is an actual link, and then I'll we'll start searching for GameCube uh, systems. Should uh, show up at around one seventy seconds. There you go, and it looks like it works. So we'll press uh, A again. And look at that! So I, th I, I'm not actually sure how it works, but I think it randomizes your players and your carts. I don't know how to choose them. I think that's everything we needed to talk about here. Oh, you can you can do four separate you can do two separate players per uh Oh that's nice. That's cool. Look at that. I don't have a two I don't have a second player set up, so uh uh sorry second players. Also I'm only paying attention to one. So, sorry, Ouija Squad. <laughs> Alright, so, before we connect to two computers, uh, let's show you how to make your own private arena. So, you just go to Game Arenas, then to GameCube. Uh, we're looking for Mario Kart Double Dash. And then you look at this pedal, you go to Land Mod. There we go. Uh, create a password if you need to. I'm just going to put in a 1, 2, 3. Then I'm going to create it. So now we're going to try and connect uh, with my other one. This is one of my alt accounts. Let's go to Game Arenas. GameCube. Mario Kart. And then uh, the LAN mod. Get right here. One, two, three. And then I'm in. It says we're connected. Oh, look at that. I'm hitting the wrong dolphin. <laughs> but yeah, we're connected. Now, since this is not connected via LAN, you can tell it's already starting to chug a little bit. It's not perfect. This is why I prefer uh, connecting via LAN. I'm actually going to turn off Parsec, see if uh, that helps. <laughs> yeah, this is why you want to keep it local. Look at that. That's that's just not good at all. Oh man. Oh boy. Yeah, I kind of fear it was going to go this way. Okay, for this final test, we are going to be connecting uh, via Ethernet cables this time. So uh, let's bring up Dolphin. And uh, I have, instead of the 127.0.0.1, I have a local 
I have a uh, local IP this time around. Uh, this was acquired uh, from an earlier tutorial video I did. And uh, I'll probably just uh, show a quick uh, recap on how that is done. Find Ethernet on network connections. Plug these numbers in for your IPv4 properties. Find the host computer from your client network. And plug in those network credentials. More thorough information can be found in the MelonDS LAN tutorial. Alright. So now, let's uh, get our double dash going. We can minimize that over here. And you can actually see I connected. Uh, my ROG connected to the computer. Oh, that is real loud. That is real loud. There we go. Alright. So as you can see, uh, the local ones that I have on my uh, computer are good. So let's connect via the ROG. Usually if uh, you have a failure, uh, it'll say it disconnected over here. Uh, BBA not connected. So that means you're going to have to probably adjust some things. Alright, let's see what happens. They're connected! Look at that! And you can already, s and you can already see that uh, we're doing a lot better this time around. Look at that! Connected, nice. Let's all take a dip in the water. All right, and I think that should do it. Well, hopefully this has been a very useful tutorial for you guys. Hopefully it was uh, very thorough. I hope to I hope to learn HLE setups next time, because uh, I hear those are pretty easy to connect. But uh, yeah, hope you guys have a nice old day. Uh, here's me just testing out eight players. You basically just have to set up two controllers for each dolphin instance, and then there you go, you have a 16 player match. For a better demonstration of eight dolphin instances, check out this video real quick. The possibilities are limitless.